What's going on, everybody? So as you can tell, I am confined to my bedroom currently. Uh, for those of y'all who don't know, I'm a physical therapy student, and physical therapy school does not go well with fishing. So I haven't been able to get out in the past couple weeks. But what I was able to do was get around to editing a video from a couple months ago. And this is a video of me going after my first ever Rio Grande cichlid. So I hope y'all enjoy. It is a scorcher today in Texas. It is over 100 degrees. However, as you can see, the sun is out. So we are going to go try to sight fish some Rio Grande cichlids. So today what we are bringing is a scale. Uh, of course, we got our bait for our carp. We have our night crawlers for our Rio Grande cichlids. Scissors, pliers, obviously the essentials for fishing. Of course, we got our terminal tackle, some small hooks, a Rio Grande cichlid. Got some carp hooks here, and always got to bring some bass stuff. You never know. Our weapon of choice today is going to be a 6'6 six -six spinning rod. We have it spooled with an eight pound line right now. And Got it rigged with a little drop shot rig with a tiny hook. So we'll see how that works out. If that line is too thick, that's eight pound toe. Went to Academy today and picked up some four pound, so. All right, 104 degrees. Sunny out, let's go. <laughs> Alright guys, so apparently I was being kind of camera shy on this day, so uh, I came up to these little mats and I saw that they had a lot of shade under them, so <clears throat> that was my cue to kind of fish them first, and luckily I just blind casted under that first one and I hooked up, and again, I was extremely lucky that that first fish I hooked up with was a Rio Grande cichlid. So I just kind of took him to the bank, it took a while to set up my tripod, and Kind of awkwardly held him against the camera, and this is my first Rio Grande. Back to fishing. We got a toad right here. Future 10 pounder. Let's see if I can get this thing off the hook without getting spined or hooking myself. Stud right there. So, what we're doing here is we're just using a tiny little split shot and a piece of worm with just about the smallest hook you can get. And as you can see on the edge of the grass, these Rio Grande cichlids are going in and out. It looks like they're chasing each other off. They're really territorial. We also have a big bluegill right here on a bed. And I'm hoping I can get him, but uh, he doesn't seem too interested in this earthworm. So I may have to put on something a little bit more aggressive. Let's go after these Rio Grandes again. One grabbed it. Uh-oh, we got him. Ah, oh, not a Rio Grande. We got a brim. He was hungry. Let's get this little guy off and back into the water. Hooked. Go flip him into the water. He's going to swim off. Got it. He has it right now. Let's see if we can get him. Finally. Man, look at the colors on this fish. It's probably going to flop out my hand, but look how pretty that fish is. This fish is gorgeous. Let's see if we can take a picture with my camera before he gets too riled up and tries to flop out my hand. Sorry, buddy. He's good to go.
we got our smallest fish of the day right here. Let's go ahead and get this little guy off. Stood right there. And look how pretty this fish is. Got us another nice little brim. Sorry, buddy. Guys, so obviously I try to show as much respect as possible to the fish, but with these really small hooks and these tiny fish, sometimes it's just really hard to handle and they pop off really easy. So please uh, excuse my mishandling of the fish this video. Appreciate it. Got another Rio Grande. Look at that. He hammered it. He's done a lot of flopping, but we're going to go ahead and let him go. And he's off. It's too far. On another brim. So I didn't show it, but I just switched over to a little jig head and a curly tail grub. And we have our first large mouth. Hey, hey, hey. We'll return this future 10 pounder to the creek. All right, little buddy. There he goes. See you later. Thanks for the fight. Stud. Big old Rio Grande cichlid right there. Pretty guy. Let's get him unhooked. So if y'all couldn't tell, I had an absolute blast chasing those Rio Grande cichlids. They're really pretty and they fight really hard for their size. I hope y'all enjoyed the video today. I'd appreciate it if you hit the like and subscribe button. And I just wanted to thank y'all for all the support. I really do appreciate it. And I'll catch y'all next time on Kyle in the Wild. Later.